Hey guys, how are you? Another literature break for you this afternoon. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving or whatever you did most recently. That was most recent for me. Um, kind of got a toss up here. I think I'm going to do poetry. So, this is Stone, a collection by Asa Mendelssohn. Mendelstam, I'm sorry crossing over to the music realm, Mendelstam. So I'm not going to read the Russian. I took some Russian, but not enough. So we'll just do it in English. Someone walking. I feel uncontrollable fear in the face of mysterious heights. I rejoice at a swallow in the air and love a bell tower's upward flight. Like some traveler of long ago crossing gulfs, the bridge sways as he walks. I listen to the avalanche. La avalanche. <laughs> we'll do that one again. Like some traveler of long ago crossing gulfs, the bridge sways as he walks. I listen to the avalanche grow, eternity striking on stone clocks. If it were true, but I am not a traveler, I see, briefly glimpsed against faded leaves, and sorrow sings truly in me. In the peaks a real avalanche rolls, and all my soul is up among the bells, but from the abyss music will not save me. Let's do that one again. Okay, someone walking. I feel uncontrollable fear in the face of mysterious heights. I rejoice at a swallow in the air and love a bell tower's upward flight. Like some traveler of long ago crossing gulfs, the bridge sways as he walks. I listen to the avalanche grow, eternity striking on stone clocks. If it were true, but I'm not the traveler I see briefly glimpsed against faded leaves and sorrow sings truly in me. In the peaks, a real avalanche rolls, and all my soul is up among the bells, but from the abyss, music will not save me. Let's see, let's do another one. Oh, there are so many good ones. Let's see. Seashell. This is 1911. Perhaps, night, you have no need of me. I am here on your sea coast, hurled as a shell without pearls, must be up out of the depths of the world. You churn up the waves into froth, not caring. You sing stubbornly on. You will love, you will know the worth of a useless shell's deception. You will lie by its side in the sand. You will draw your cope over the shell and inseparably with it bind the surf's great bell. You will fill the frail shell's rooms like the house of a heart not lived in with the whispering of foam, with mist, with wind, with rain. Let's see if we've got any more to nip into real quickly. How do you guys feel about long poetry? Longer than a page? I never know. I'm not going to mess with it today. The Staff My staff, my freedom, my being's core. Will the people's truth soon become a truth I can share? I studied my own heart before I bowed to the land, then I rejoiced to depart for far Rome with staff in hand. Let the unmelting snow lie on black fields forever, but the grief my people know is as foreign to me as ever. Snow will melt on the cliff in truth's blazing sun. The people rightly gave the staff to me, who was seen in Rome. 1914 Eh, one more. This is 58. 
No grass grows on the moon, not even a single blade. All the people on the moon are in the basket weaving trade. Light baskets woven out of straw braid. Twilight the whole day through, and the houses are clean there. No houses, though, it's true. They're dovecotes, nothing more. Houses of bird's egg blue. Remarkable dovecotes they are. And lastly, Americanka, an American girl. An American girl aged 20. She has to go to Europe. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. An American girl. An American girl aged 20. She has to go to Egypt, ignoring Titanic's warring, warning. Asleep on the bottom darker than a crypt. In America, factory whistles hoot. A red skyscraper stacks. Man, I'm not, I'm not doing well with this today, guys. Sorry. An American girl. An American girl aged 20. She has to go to Egypt, ignoring Titanic's morning, asleep on the bottom, darker than a crypt. In America, factory whistles hoot, and red skyscraper stacks offer cold clouds a salute with lips that are smoked black. And in the Louvre, Ocean's daughter is standing fair as a poplar. She runs squirrel-like up Acropolis to loiter over marble that looks like sugar. Understanding nothing at all, she reads Faust on the train, and it saddens her to recall that King Louis no longer reigns. 1913. Oh man, you guys, I could read these forever. How long should we go? You can, you can tune out if you need to. 44. We went insane from living indulgently. Wine before noon, by evening a heavy head. How can we sustain your feverish red, oh, drunken plague, and your vain revelry? The ritual of shaking hands is agony, kissing out on the streets at night, the river's current drifting sluggishly, and street lamps glaring like torchlight. In old stories, they wait for the wolf. We wait to die. And I fear that the dying among us will begin with that fellow there, of the twitching scarlet grin and the fringe of hair dangling across his eye. November 1913. Okay, this is 1912. Let's see when he was born. 1891 he was born. Okay, so this was written in 1912. I hate the light that shines from the monotonous stars. Welcome back, old obsession of mine, tower that thins to an arrow of spire. Stone become a web, a lace fragility. Let your thin needles stab the empty breast of sky. My turn will come yet. I feel the wings spreading, so be it. But where is the target? Where living thought's arrow is heading? Perhaps I will come back here when my path and my time both fade. I could not love there, and here I am afraid. Okay, one last one and then we'll be done. 73. The fire tongues my dry life away. No more stone songs. I sing wood today. It is light and rough from one piece no more. Both the heart of the oak and the fisherman's oar. Drive piles more firmly in, hammers pound tight. Oh, wooden heaven, where all things are light. All right, guys, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Woo, Reavers. So if you want to spend more time with this lovely book, it's Stone by Asip Mendelstam. Okay, take care. Have a good week.